All right, welcome back, everybody. Getting ready for our second series of the day. This time, the St. Clair Saints are up against the George Mason University Patriots second team, the GMU Patriots two, as you see up in the corner. And the first map looks like it's going to be Dorado. So we're going to be pushing that Kurt all the way to the end. And it looks like Saints are on offense. Getting started hopping in with Jub Jub. See if you can get the pick here. As the rest of the team does proceed to push the Kurt. GMU deciding to take the high ground, usually the smart decision, of course. Scary. Will they actually dive off? They don't really have to. They got a lot of poke with the Farah. All right, and the chase. Saints diving in, riding along with Singularity. Just folks in the tank at this point takes Diva out of mech, so that Diva is going to be essentially useless for the most part. On top of the healer, is going to chase him down. Not quite going to get him. Switching over to Dowling, getting the Discord Orb onto the tank, get as much damage as possible on top of him. And the kills are starting to go the way of the Saints. With four of them being down in the first checkpoint in sight to push this cart to. All of them essentially on. <laughs> so a pretty crazy start, but we already have the first point, the first checkpoint. Don't touch me on the Hammond, actually. The Wrecking Ball, of course. Yeah, it looked like a pretty juicy pile driver attempt, but nobody else was quite ready, so it's probably wise that he didn't dive in. Let's see, Jeff Joe can snag a pick here. He's got the healer in his sights, but is able to fight him off. Hop back with Singularity, just peppering that uh, Reinhardt shield. The Reaper, though, coming out from GMU. Gonna do a ton of damage to him. There goes Hammond jumping in, and then well played following up. And there we go, big, big shot there from Dowling. Taking out both the Reaper and now the Widowmaker. It looks like actually well played on the Winston, getting the massive flank onto the Healer and the Widowmaker Sniper. Clearing the path for this second checkpoint. Just dodge a Diva Bomb and keep pushing this thing. No contest at this point. Don't touch me, diving in. Let's get him. With him reading the front lines here. That cart does make it past the second spot. So we already have two points on the board. One more spot. These guys flying through right now. The Wrecking Ball kind of stuck to the Reinhardt Shield. Doesn't matter. Finally breaks in. And almost a team wipe, I think, at this point for <laughs> the St. Clair Saints. Might have ourselves a quick one here as... Don't touch me. Basically throwing the mines right in the spawn point. Complete spawn camping. Just not even letting them move. They finally decide to take the damage and come through or wait for it to time out. Zenko does go down. There goes the Reinhardt on the enemy side. Switch to Genji. Anything fast to try and get to this point. Diva Bomb coming out from Singularity. Not going to quite get a pick this time. Who to hop in with here? We're going to hop in once again with Don't Touch Me, just causing havoc <laughs> running through the spawn point of GMU. Okay. I think that was the shatter coming out from Zenko, the GMU uh, Reinhardt. But it doesn't look like it's going to come to any avail. That's three more down. Make it four. That is going to go all the way to the end. Very clean. 3-0 to start this off. Well, let's hope, let's see what GMU has for the offensive side. Let's turn, or their turn to push the cart. Let's see how the Saints defend, as well as, of course, the offense from GMU. Because they just couldn't get anything started, really, that first game. The Saints just got the momentum and essentially just kept it. All right, so this is what it looks like we're going to get. Spencer, see that view? That's great. Jump, jump. Yeah. Jump, jump, listen. Everybody's 
Okay, interesting. I'll be watching over you. Just what I needed. <laughs> I'm ready to chill. Well, I'm probably listening in on the player comms a little bit too much as I, we're in between rounds here in the champ select. Champ select. Character selection. Games. But yeah, we're going to have Jump Jump back on the Widowmaker. Ride with him for a second as the doors open. Let's see if he can get a quick shutdown on this push. The rest of the Saints seem to be similar position to the GMU team just above the street here. That reminds me I'm not supposed to ever watch Well Played ever. <laughs> and let's see. Where is he? Yeah, there we go. Switching over to Jub Jub. Okay, so the GMU side has a Widow themselves. Possible Widow duel in the making. Oh, they're kind of nervous to get around the corner, though. Gets a piece of the healer there. Gets a piece of Ana. And gets a poke. But now they have a Winston jumping right into everybody. Hopping in with Singularities. May. Definitely doesn't mind getting up close and personal with some tanks. Jump to finally taking out the other Widowmaker. And it's going to shut down this push. It looks like they do have a Genji still up on the high ground. But I don't think he's going to be able to do anything too crazy. Right along with Jub Jub once again. Just kind of wait and see if Genji shows his face. Okay, don't touch me. Taking a little bit of heat as they finally start to contest. The Widowmaker has been found with the ultimate, so nothing sneaky there from GMU. In the meantime, everybody clumping up in May, just having a field day, getting at least three people in damage. Okay, so Dowling does go down to Crystal, the uh, GMU sniper, Widowmaker, of course, but Jub Jub answers right back, taking her out in return. Cart hasn't really been able to move out at this point, just keeping them under this arch, making it really difficult. If you want to push this thing, you essentially have to force yourself into a choke point which I know Don't Touch Me would absolutely love here on Azaria as he does have Graviton ready as well. Suck everybody in for a solid combo attempt. GMU finally starting to get some offense in, but Winston goes down very quickly. And then I think that was a shatter that came out, and that is going to be a quick triple with four going down total, shutting down the push once again. About two minutes here for GMU to get some offense started in this first game. Okay, so we have the May alt, the Zenyatta defensive vault, of course, and Zarya's Graviton. Let's see what we can get. Jub Jub winning the Widow duel again, taking out Crystal. So they went to the right door. Okay, so they're not even going to bother with the corridor. They're going to try and shove themselves into a different corridor. That wall just separated the Reinhardt completely from his team. Saints jumping on that immediately. And that's going to stall out the push for another couple seconds. And never mind, don't touch me, getting aggressive. Has this personal shield, so might as well just go for it when you can. As long as it's safe. Okay, so May Alt's still online, and a lot of the others finally starting to get close within, like, the 70% mark. Zenko trying to push this cart out of the quarter, give himself some breathing room, but Saints, of course, making that difficult. Genji coming in, Tranquility happening right away, and there's the Graviton catching at least three of the enemy team here. They are the GM, you teammates, rather. A Shatter coming out, I believe, from Well Played as he was about to go down. Does manage to snag two more kills because of it. Cart just barely outside of the arches at this point. A little bit of extra space for GMU, but not too much. Oh, especially with the, the wall hacks coming out here from Widow. Oh my god, the fire strike from Well Played. Taking out the Tracer right away. Those squishies are pretty safe at this point. And then I'll give the GMU Graviton sucking up at least two of them, it looks like. The Ruckknapped has the bird's eye view at this point. A lot of the Saints gaming crew going down. 
actually trying to duel him with the pistol. Does snag the kill on the Zarya before going down himself. Let's see, Jub Dub the only one relatively close, but actually getting pressured by Crystal's Tracer. Well played. Looks like that GMU is going to be able to take this first point. Gets another 2 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Get some more time for themselves to set up the next play as they go for the second capture point. Oh, gosh. Right around the corner. There's a Tracer. Don't touch me. Finds him right away. Now these corners can be a bit scary for GMU as they have to also account for the roof of the building to the left of them at this point. Senko's shield is actually extremely low. Oh, is the wall once again separating them pretty good? The freeze onto Reinhardt. Singularity finishing that up. Main tank down, but Tracer, I think it's Crystal, in the background, or in, in backline rather, pressuring some of the healers and actually lets Ninja Tactics switching over to the Widow take out Jub Jub. All right, well played. Swinging away does take out Spooky on the Lucio. Okay, the freeze. Let's take that headshot. Oh, Reinhardt's frozen too. The ult did come out from Singularity, so the hold is pretty well guaranteed at this point for now. Okay, nice. As soon as the bomb comes out, goes into his ice block. Keeps himself alive. That's why Tracer bombing him is usually a bad idea. Unless you know that cooldown's gone. Now where is this Tracer just dancing around the back line once again? Enough of a distraction to let Ninja Tactics get yet another snipe onto Jub Jub. Reinhardt gets a little bit overextended, but now they're all into the uh, into the Graviton. Now Saints firing out their own Graviton. It does get the Reinhardt, but both sound barriers popped. Lots of shielding everywhere at this point. Back in the front line here. It is Singularity going down. Jub Jub goes down. Well played at Death's Door, but I reckon that's keeping him alive just a bit. But now, looks like Ninja Tactics and Crystal able to do work. They're going to push this cart right to the second point. They might have enough time to possibly contest this. Yeah, using all cooldowns to get there as fast as possible. Two meters? No, they are going to get it. That is the second point now for GMU. Much better push compared to the first checkpoint. Well played. Now Jub Jub goes down once again, but this time to CN Momo Peach playing the Zarya on GMU. All right, rounding the corner. It looks like we've got the McCree now from Singularity switching off the May. Trying to deal with this Tracer, because of course he hit him with that flashbang. That is a stun. I don't care how fast you are, he's down. But it doesn't matter. Ninja Tactics takes him down, forces the res right away. And then Crystal with the bomb taking out Racknaps on the Mercy as well. For the first time tonight, we're seeing Dowling go to his Lucio. Gets sniped, and now the charge from Zanko taking out Singularity. A pretty rough fight here for the Saints, as it looks like GMU going to get some big distance. All right, starting to get close. We have 30 seconds on the clock here, too. It's either going to force overtime or this is going to be the win for the Saints. They are pushing this thing close. Did anybody touch a cart? Nobody is on the cart. That is it. It's going to be overtime forced by GMU. Well played. Since when did my chat become a gathering for Squid Kids? <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, of course, chatting and watching and cheering on both teams. Always a pleasure having all of you guys around. I'll be watching all of you. <laughs> okay, so again, it's going to be Saints on the defensive side. With only a minute on a clock, we had a very similar situation actually in the last set today where uh, it would have been 
gosh, it is Purdue. They only had a minute of overtime, while the Saints had about four minutes as well. And Purdue did a pretty good job. They got one point and almost forced the second. Granted, in that one, Saints were able to get the two points necessary. But let's hope that they can shut this down right away. Not biased whatsoever. So, holding the same area, jumped up back on the Widowmaker. They're playing it for most of the set, it looks like. Okay, who are we looking for here? Possible Tracer backdoor. Oh, they do find him. Jub Jub finds him right away. Big sniper win there for Jub Jub. Okay, moving down from the high ground, going back to the arches. This is where they had their most successful defense during the first little bit. Or during their uh, first defensive round, rather. Jub Jub finds the healer, too. Finds Spooky's Lucio. A nice, again, well played with the flame strike, taking out Tracer. Second time he's gotten him today, and this push is probably going to be shut down as that Reinhardt shield breaks, and that's another two kills. Nicely done from St. Clair. And they actually only have 10 seconds. This was a really quick minute. They need Tracer to touch this point within the next couple seconds, or else that is going to be it. The, okay, it was contested, so now that overtime bar, got to watch out for it. Anytime nobody's touching that card, that thing is going to go down. But they're... This does kind of promote trickling in here. They're not going to be able to have the full 6v6. Reinhardt able to keep this thing delayed for a pretty decent amount of time to get three of them out, but it doesn't matter. They has tear right through all three of them. Overtime is over for GMU, which means the Saints just need one more point, one checkpoint. In fact, they might actually just have to push it further than what GMU did. I'll know in a moment. <laughs> Let's hope that wasn't captured. <laughs> Luckily, the sensitivity on this thing is not that high. Otherwise, we would have had some choice words coming out. <laughs> Let's just say the Saints are excited, to say the least. Everyone's shirt is still on, though. Compared to last game. Okay, we looking divey. Got Jub Jub on the Doomfist once again. Don't touch me. Br bringing out the Hammond quite a few times actually today. Compared to like the last couple games. I don't know if he got changed or what, but I've seen him a lot more lately. And downling back on Zenyatta. Singularity on the Diva. Well played back on Winston. Maps Mercy. Hello. Let's see who to hop in with. We're gonna hop in. Well, let's go, let's get the hamster. See what Don't Touch Me is up to to start things off here. I'm gonna take the side route. Looks like. Not sure how sneaky a rolling hamster ball could possibly be. And okay, he finds him going for the pile driver right away. He knocks up so many of them, but he's kind of alone. Oh no, that's a de that's a dead hamster. But at the same time, they got quite a bit of distance. To be honest, that's over half the distance they need. They don't need the full checkpoint. They just need to go further than what GMU put. And that is some decent damage onto the Brigida. So 5 on 5 at the moment. Oh, there we go. Doomfist flinging himself in there. Doing a ton of damage. There we go. Getting the picks he needs. And this could be the push necessary. That is it. Make it further than GMU. Saints gaming, St. Clair Saints going to take the first game of the set. And play of the game goes to Zenko's Reinhardt. I'm guessing this is a big shatter coming out here. And we're not going to get to see it. We just got trolled. So just a brief moment as we get game two underway. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll be back within a minute or two. <laughs> 